Uh, we will be starting up the gameplay in five minutes at 12.20. It is 12.15 right now. It just gives me five minutes to quickly grab myself a drink and uh, we do something really quick and then we will, we will be here to uh, get this game going. So thank you very, very much for tuning in and uh, I hope to see you guys in about five minutes. 9.12 right now, so 9.17 for you. So, uh, I guess four minutes now. All right, give me four minutes. Sorry about the delay. I am here. Yes, yes, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Sorry. 
go back and die. How much is this game? This game is $80, but I rented it for <coughs> a week there, so uh, yeah, I didn't pay $80 for it. That is for sure. <coughs> Yeah, sorry I took the extra little bit. Anyways, let's jump back into this. So, we, last time we were on this, we infiltrated a camp, took everyone out, and ended up, um, and ending up, ended up, we're, we're trying to make our way to the train station so the train tracks or something uh so well in america it might be 60 so 59.99 59.99 in canada it's 79.99 right so i'm used to 80 dollar 90 dollar games um in america it's 59.99 so it's like 60 bucks but yeah so we're trying to make our way to the train station um we gotta avoid all these guards and stuff and yeah so uh, that's all i really know that it's going on besides that we know that arthur arthur's brother got taken by the germans and um and the tanks that they intimidated the britons with or whoever this society is um is uh uh, we're, we're, we're trying to figure out it, it, they, they completely like manipulated them into thinking that they had tanks and it was just paper mache Yeah, so I, I believe we're in the UK. <laughs> yeah, Gage. That's what I'm saying. That's why people go to America. They end up going to America to... Um... discovered country from whose born no traveler returns. <laughs> so we got two skill points. We're fully fed, rested. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're making our way to there, and Kensington Gardens. Yeah, we, we were already all throughout here, and then we went up here, and this is where we fought the entire camp, or whatever you want to call it. And so, this is just a side quest, so I mean, we could technically go do that. Holy shit, there's tons of items in there. Actually, you know what? We're gonna go do that. It's only 70 meters away. Why not? How much health do we got? Hey, oh, yeah, that's okay, Gage. It's a, it's a weird game. Happy place of Canada. So, actually, yeah, that healing bomb is probably the best thing to sit on right now. Blue current, carrot, okay, good. We'll sit at the blue current. Rock, vomit bomb. I didn't even realize we picked that up. What the hell's a vomit bomb? Who doesn't want to see a lot of people always throwing up, <laughs> throwing up always hilarious causes? All targets to vomit cannot attack during vomiting. That's pretty dope. Oh, that's not a problem. Well, that's for knocking down my blocks in nursery. Alright, quickly also, let's switch up our weapons. Let's see what we got for weapons. Let's get rid of the shitty one. Help 
Let's keep the rocks. Let's throw the darts. Oh, we might not even have to. Yeah, there you go. Sorry to bother. That guy's just eating away, having a nice day. Sorry, man, but that's the way it goes. Oh, it's just normal stew. I'll take that. Extra stuff. Empty pill bottle. Nothing, nothing fancy. Steal the key. Talk to the chef. All right, sounds good. Let's go talk to. Let's go talk to chef. Hey, what the hell? Okay, it must be in here. Oh, it's down here. It increases area of distraction devices and ah, that's dope. If I hadn't smoked in high school, I could carry a bit more. Thank you, thank you. Come back anytime. I'll make you something fantastic. Nice I'm not too sure. Idea. My character apparently Please. just has seizures I've on random cooking. days. Taste this. What you think? Yummy, isn't it? I ought to drop by someday when I'm in the neighborhood. Stew would be nice, even if it is made out of fungus and leaves. Hey, we completed that quest. Oh. Alright, so drop the branch. Uh, let's drop one of these shovels because they do weigh seven pounds. Let's go over to our food. We're healthy on food and stuff, so we don't need that. Oh, that costs eight skill points. Crap, you guys. Yeah, it's just a blackout, dude. Definitely grab a flashlight. I don't know what we should do. Screw it. We're gonna we're gonna increase my character's health even more. Uh, that way, we don't ever have to deal with that as much. Food and drinks. What am I missing for our weapons and outfits? What am I missing here? Legs? I think I'm missing like leggings or something. <clears throat> How many lockpicks we got? We'll check that out right after this. Um, oh yeah, crafting. Uh, we can't make any more. We're actually down to five. We're up to 13 Jimmy bars. Jesus Christ. Pointy stick? Oh, Jesus. What do I need? A branch and a rock? Ah. Oh. Alright. Anyways. Uh, oh, shit. We didn't put a weapon on. 
Weapons! And get rid of the crappy ones. Let's go fight shit. Grab some of that. Alright, I don't see no guards out on duty. These guards are slacking. They be slacking. They be at Wendy's way too much getting Baconators. Oh, this guy, dude, you should have went. You should have went and got the 99 cent frosty with them, because now it's your turn to die. <laughs> oh, get dumped on, Royston. I think this might be the one Sally and me tried to blow up. I always wondered what happened to the letters. There was an awful lot of smoke. <laughs> He's a teleporter. That man just teleported to a different dimension, you guys. I don't know what just happened. I'm so scared. Are you alright? Don't go out in people's boxes just because they're not looking, alright? <laughs> what happened? I'm so scared of this dimension. I didn't see that. I, I don't know what just happened. Gage, alright, that's not a problem. Talk your way past the bobby. Lovely day for it. Unfortunately, the bridge is not open at this time. It was working just a minute ago, but the door is broken again. You'll have to wait until it's up again. Do you ever let anybody in? Oh, yes. There's someone in there now. And in the past month? Well, in the past month. Ah, oh, there's a chap in there right now. You don't really want anyone back from the Garden District, do you? Hell, my wastrel friend. No one goes off there, Joy, can actually take Joy. I mean, would you? Everybody feels better if that door stays broken. You, us, everybody. Well, Constable Wright, I suppose now I can tell Central why the bridge keeps breaking down. Central? Ever seen one of these? Oh, bugger me. You're not some sort of undercover bridge inspector. This device detects structural irregularities using shortwave radar. But I don't think it will show me the real problem. Will it, Constable Wright? Look, sir, you can fix that door, but them wastrels still ain't gonna take that joy. It makes them see eyes everywhere. That's not for you to decide, is it? No, sir. The, the, the maintenance hatch is that way, sir. I, I, I'd be grateful if you forgot this conversation ever, ever happened. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Damn right, Constable, right? Have a good day. I'm the fucking inspector. Oh, bugger. If I really was from Central, I'd have the card, wouldn't I? There is another way, though, isn't there? Okay. None of these filing cabinets have anything. Please take a number and sit down. There's nobody else here. Please take a number and sit down. Lol, what the fuck, dude? They they make it they still come to work. Number two, now serving number two. The <laughs> fuck, dude? What number am I?
Welcome to the rehabilitation Oh, wow, I was number two. You were Actually, right, Parallel. Actually, I'm just a sort of undercover bridge inspector from Central. See this device? Uh, it detects structural... It... Then you should have no trouble passing the test, should you? Please head through the door there and begin your rehabilitation. Yeah, that threw me right off too, dude. I thought I was like number 15 or whatever. Deposit your personal belongings into this box, retaining only your clothes. Please continue to the decontamination room. I'll take the sandwich, I'll take the apple, uh, healing bomb, antiseptic bandage, hell yeah. Dude, this place is Please luxurious. Don't worry, you will be provided with new, proper clothes after decontamination. What is this guy doing? Are you okay, dude? Wait, wait what's up with you? Holy shit, fuck. Hold up, yo. Have, dude and i think so too dude there was like a giant fucking spider that just ran past my like past me and i'm like looking around for it and it's it's fucking gone it disappeared but that scared the shit out of me dude i'm, I'm still keeping my eyes out for this thing what the fuck That was fucking terrifying. I'm terrified, dude. I'm scared shitless that this thing is gonna, like, crawl on me. Uh, it's a possibility, dude, that I think so, but, uh, if so, that's okay, dude. You're the greatest god dang viewer ever. Um, holy shit. Tea, sandwich, apple. Oh, shower? How am I supposed to shower?
Swear to God, man, I have no idea where that fucking spider went. It's tripping me out. It's fucked. I like spiders, bro. Oh. How the hell do I show? Oh, there we go. That's kind of stupid that you can only press one. Judging. Touching the water. Well, I I think it was trying to trying to do its best at least. Proper suit. Don't you look wonderful? Please proceed to the next room. In case there is any residual odor of the garden district on you. Please enjoy this refreshing scent of country flowers. Dude, no idea where that fucking spider went. Like I said, this thing fucking crawls on me. I'm done. <laughs> licorice? Why licorice? Get ready for the most important moment in your rehabilitation. Please take your favorite flavor of joy. Vanilla Hey, you were right, story. Parallel. Look at that. We're getting some joy. Oh, I must insist that you not traverse the beams of the joy detector without taking your joy, sir. Oh, damn it. They were serious about taking my joy, weren't they? God damn, dude. I like this little bar. Look at all this. All this neat crap. Creepy mask, everything. They got a nice chair I can sit in. Oh, they even got some creepy statue I can teabag. Ah, oh, yeah, hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. It's never too late to have a happy past. Please pop a joy. Ch vanilla, chocolate, or strawberry? Dude, I'd take vanilla. Go vanilla. What, what kind would you take, Parallel? Vanilla, chocolate? Lovely day for it. Lovely day for it. Should clear up soon, I imagine. All right. Oh, mood booth, take jar. Wait, did you just pick strawberry, bro? That's not the flavor I wanted. Okay, so joy takes you happy, but you can't take too much of it. Oh, fuck. I found that spider. Hold up, yo. I gotta kill it.
answer. I fucking hate spiders. Spider was a fighter. It would not, would not, would not come out of its hiding spot. Whew. We're good. Happiness is a choice. Lovely day for it. Right as rain, sir. Right as rain. Please head into the theater and take a seat. Uh, this room is for showering Uncle Jack only. Other activities you... Well, I don't want to... Hey, can I help Uncle Jack off of a horse? I don't want to help him shower. I want to help him ja help, um, help Uncle Jack off a horse. Phoenix Theater, donated by Victoria Bing. Bing. Who the fuck is that? You know what? Should we sit in the front row? Nah, I feel like sitting back here. Excellent. Sit tight and enjoy the show. And now it's time for the Uncle Jack Etiquette Minute. You may be wondering, how can I fit in better in Hamlet Village? Well, it's easy. To get along, go along. If someone tells you it's a lovely day, agree with them. <laughs> because, of course, it's always a lovely day at Hamlin Village, so don't be afraid of talking to people first. They'll appreciate it. Now, I'm assuming, of course, that you're decently dressed. Huh? Clothes make the man, eh? Indeed, naked people have almost no influence at all in society. Oh, Raptor. Uh, Is it better don't now, dress buddy? Don't rags either, or people might think you're a wastrel. Now, what should you do if people are staring at you? Maybe they're asking you if you remember to take your joy. Who cares? Just pop another and they'll congratulate you and go on about their day. And if things <clears> seem to be getting a bit hectic, remember, you can always sit on a bench, relax and open the Hamlin or Quran. Take a load off. No one will bother you when you're sitting on a bench. Unless you've made them very angry. Well, <laughs> or, I don't know, watch Jack Worthing on television. I, he's very good. <laughs> well, I'm afraid we've got to the end of our time. Tune in tomorrow for another Etiquette Minute with Jack Worthy. That's me. Isn't okay, Uncle hopefully Jack my headset wonderful? isn't doing it, now, so... please proceed to the third floor, where you will be tested on what you've just relearned. Pass the quiz. Bringing joy to the world since 1953. Limit joy to once per hour. Just a friendly reminder. Uncle Jack don't mention it, but a word to the wise. Proper decent people don't like people what is running, jumping, crouching, spying, sneaking, breaking, or entering. This guy again. This guy again. The game where you show that you're ready Look to come back to Hamlin Village and behave like a proper decent citizen. Oh, for heaven's sake, they can't be serious. Are you ready to behave? Now, our five guest questioners are God damn, dude, this society's fucked up. All you have to do is show us that spider just blew my mind away. Mr. Cashier, what question do you have for our prodigal son? Daughter. Final cashier. Glad he's still around. If you want to fit in, you should. A. Say hello to everyone you meet, like what you do. B. Visit people's houses, whether they're there or not. C. The eyes! The eyes! If you 
realise you're wearing rags, should you? A. Pop a joy. B. Put on proper clothes for God's sake. And why not pop a joy? C. Why does everything have eyes? Let's go close our eyes, Joy. Oh man. This is uh definitely different. This isn't man, this quiz is so hard. I bet I bet a five year old on acid could, could uh, like finish this quiz. The eyes! Why the eyes? Constable, constable, your question. It's like um one sec, strategy. one sec, one sec. If I see you running, jumping about, or crouching in the shadows, what will I likely do? A. Tell you to stop your rotten shenanigans before I smash you in the face. B. Run and jump and play myself. C. Oh god, the eyes. Oh <laughs> god, the eyes. Um, so, Leah, we're doing a quiz. See if we're a decent citizen. But, um, it's like, uh, if you need to get somewhere, oh, what's that actor's name? Fire. Nicholas Cage in the, in the Witcher, and he's like, the bees, not the bees. No need to be in a hurry in Hamlin Village. Leah, how's it going? Please Thanks for tuning in. Do try to pay attention. We want you to succeed. Mrs. Sackville, your question, please. If you want to make friends with me, should you A. Give me flowers. B. Talk about old times. C. Stop staring at me. Why is everything staring? <laughs> Why is everything staring? Uh, flowers, old times. I'd say, I'd say, I'd say flowers. Flowers. Excellent. Yes. Do give the ladies a lovely bouquet. They do so love flowers. What do you know? I'm sorry. It looks like I've had you both. As they say, how disappointing. Remember, doctors are here to help you. If you've forgotten your joy, doctors will smell it right away. And they'll give you a quick injection to make your day a lovely one. Dr. Byron, what is your question? What happens when you <laughs> What the fuck, you hey, guys? This is such a weird game show. Me. Who cares? See? Please, God, make them stop staring. Please, God, make them stop staring. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's just put. Who cares? That's right. Player one. It hardly matters. You might lose a few hours, but sooner or later, you'll find yourself on a bench, no worse for the wear. Oh, player two. Today is just not your day, is it? But you can always come back for a seven try. And that concludes this episode. Hold up, before we continue, let me go to my food and drinks, because my character is really hungry. Increases maximum stamina. Uh, increases maximum stamina for a short amount of time. How much food do we need? We're starving. Okay, so we'll then eat the sandwich. I hope you made it to the village. If you didn't, remember, there's Yeah, I don't think this guy's making it to the vi vi village, you guys. Um, I, I, I think this guy is done for. Well, that's a relief. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's time to play Wait, escape? Behave, the game where you show that you're ready to come back to Hamlin Village and behave like a proper What the fuck, citizen. you guys? What the hell? I passed the test. Oh, for heaven's sake, I'm not going to do this again. How do I get out of here? Are you ready to behave? Now, our five guest questioners are going to ask you one question each. All you have to do is show us that you understand how to behave yourself. Okay. Oh, toolbox up there. Mr. Cashier, what question do you have for our prodigal son or daughter? If you want to fit in, you should. Hey, say hello to everyone you meet. I got you do. B. The door is jammed. The eyes, the eyes. Are all the doors jammed? Whoever's the leader of UK right now is fucking mental, horrible AI. What do I do? Oh dear, no. Player one, that's not the answer we're looking for. Uh... Player two, I'm afraid the eyes 
the eyes was not the right answer. Oh, it's right there, that van. You guys see that van? If you realize you're wearing rags, should you A. Pop a joy. B. Put on proper clothes for God's sake. And why not pop a joy? C. What does that mean have eyes? There we go. So yeah, I don't think there's any escaping that. Yeah, this this society is completely fucked up. This society, like, come on, man, these giant masks, they're kind of creepy. If you ever caught me wearing one of these masks, then I, I I just automatically assume. I would hope you would automatically assume that I'm up to something really. Horrible. How much? Uh, we need one hour of sleep, I'd say. And when he woke up, he realized it had all just been a bad dream. Your stash has an unlimited store. Yeah, this is all my weapons. Huh? Do I really have to move everything manually? I do. Dude, that's so stupid. Launcher, White Taylor Prestige Guns, Badass. Assistant, we happy few. Well, I don't know. Maybe it does. I mean, there's grenades, man. Like that's definitely different. So dumb that we got to move everything. Bloody mule! Pick what you can carry easily. Oh yeah, all of our crafting components should be going in the storage, because... Okay, we'll put that all back. Okay, so, thank god. Inventory. Alright, this can be messed up, but every single one of these has to go. Oh, placed all... Yes. Okay, dope, dope. So that actually clears up so much weight. Are we even able to... Wait, why aren't we able... Zero to two... What do you mean, zero to three metal bits? It's a pneumatic stash! What? Crafting components stored here can be used everywhere. I think it's because we're still Just, in... Uh... I think it's still because we're still in by? this area. May I express my delight that you passed the examination, sir? We've not had as many as we'd hoped, sir. Not as many at all. And yet, they say the unexamined life is not worth living. Well, sir, welcome back. Oh, and in case your rustication has been of long duration, please bear in mind there is now a nocturnal curfew. Best be indoors after nightfall, sir. Okay, so you're not allowed to pass night, or the boogeyman's gonna get you. Oh, they're happy that I actually made it through. So from here, 
I've got to get to St. George's home and then into the parade. Except that I need a letter of transit to get into the parade. Like the... Not in Kansas anymore. Oh, okay, yeah, we needed eight skill points for that. Find the hatch on Maiden, Hayden, Maiden home. Oh, it's really far. Letter of transit's even further. Okay. The one I left on my desk in the parade. And we should be able to craft crap now. Yeah. Okay. Good. We'll get a new one. Wait. The old government printing office was on Maiden home. Maybe I can break in and steal some. Hey, that's lame. I don't want a strawberry one. How have I overdosed on joy? Um... <laughs> what the fuck? While I'm off my joy? Everyone- Okay, this is stupid. Just let him kill me. Just let him kill me. <laughs> That was fucking stupid. Everybody just turned on me, even though I was high as shit. That was stupid, stupid, stupid. God damn. God damn, you guys, those guys turned into a bunch of crackheads. Use a rocket launcher? Yeah, no kidding. Uh, just rest in my feet. What the hell? Snug as a bug on a drug. It says I'm about to be out of joy right now, but it says I'm overdosed still. Okay, this is, what the hell? Do not look well at all. People will notice, become upset at you. You attack more slowly and do less damage. Crafting other attacks, best to stay out of sight until it wears off. All right, so this is what it actually looks like around here. In this horrible, god-ridden society. Um. Uh, Don't mind me. Just having a bit of a sit-down. Am I not allowed to wait now? Okay, let's use an airstrike. I came here, be here for another hour. Okay, that's not a problem, Raptor. Hopefully within that hour we can find some cool stuff for you. Waiting for my high to wear off. What? How am I on joy now? I'm so confused. How's everything beautiful? Lovely day for it. What? The joy meter isn't even full.
What do antiseptic bandages do compared to normal bandages? Stop bleeding infection. Thought so, okay. Break into the old government printing office. All right, before we do. Um, cross the bridge to... We can fill our power cells here. Thank God. <laughs> you know, I've been... Requires empty power cell. Yeah, I swear I've had like four of them. Looks like the old printing office is pretty well buttoned up. I wonder if there's a way in the back. Is my character thirsty? Hungry and thirsty. Okay, so let's eat some berries. Actually, you know what? Okay, hunger is good. Thirst. Dang, nothing? Damn, okay. You know what? <laughs> Never mind. Next week? Arthur? Arthur Hastings! Lovely day for it. Don't you lovely day for it, me, you idiot? It's me! Sally! Oh, I knew it was you. I mean, the glasses, the hair, the really adorable jacket. Don't ask me how, you're not that awkward little boy anymore, are you? But the way you walk, it's, it's like the mask isn't even there. I just, I just knew there's Arthur. Sally? You look fantastic. This ancient thing? I've had it two weeks. I'm out of my mind with boredom. Green and white checked. Your dress, the last time I saw you. Running out the door. <laughs> oh, that horrible gingham dress. Oh, God, that takes you back. <sighs> You're off your joy. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Oh, you have little fucking faith. I'm not going to turn you in. Whatever possesses you to go off your joy? <sighs> I see. Oh, I saw a picture of him. I promised I'd look after him in Germany. I have to go and find him. How are you going to get out? Do we even have a letter of transit? Absolutely. On my desk, in the city. <laughs> Good Christ. Just tell the policeman that. I'm sure they'll wave your right Okay, Sally's, I'm yeah. assuming, going to be hit the girl out, yeah. that he ends up being with I'm there. I'm very close with General Bing. Of course you are. No. You always did have a knack for making helpful new friends. I mean, I could go see him and ask him to give you a letter of transit. Don't put the general out on my account. I'm sure you've only so many favours you can ask of him. My God. You still hate me, don't you? Yeah, well, I've only been wondering for the past 14 years. We were 16! How could you? Because I liked him. Because he had that adorable beard. I don't know. There isn't a reason for everything. You're the last bloody person who should be off his joy. I can't believe you are. Believe me. Take enough stuff. Look. Some downer broke into my lab last week. Literally tore the bars off the windows and the ridiculous thing is... Yeah, they used to have a relationship. The point used, is, to be a, used to be a flame. It's a horrible... <laughs> Terrible world out there. I just don't see you smashing your way into the city without a great deal of help. Oh no, not me. I'm living on the King's Road right now. Of course you are. I couldn't exactly have stayed there, could I? Like nothing happened. <sighs> this is deep. Look, God damn. I'm sorry. This isn't what I meant to. Maybe we could help each other. Maybe I could come by when I'm feeling better. Good job, dude. Brilliant. Good job. You 
ass. How about going to the King's Road, knocking on her door and apologizing grievously? And asking nicely for a letter of transit. She knows General Bing. Damn it, lad! She's Scarper! Oh! But what have we here? A friend of Miss Boyle's, innit? Funny! You don't seem all high and mighty. Perhaps we can express our feelings about Miss Boyle to her friend. Okay, yeah, really? Last one smiling is a uh, running! Your really bringing me down! Get happy! Uh, oh. Cheer up, you bastard! Oh, oh, fucking oh. Christ, I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. I'm dead. I won't oh my god. See the violence inherent in the system. Ouch. That hurt. Hurt a lot. Got a frying pan, man. I got myself a frying pan. Brick? All right, let's do rocks. Nah, nah, what's all the scuffle? You've been having an altercation in the alley? Uh, nothing you need to worry about, Constable. I'll, uh, just be on my way. And where is it you're on your way to? Precisely. Just off to see an old friend on St. George. Oh, well, no need to be in such a hurry. The bridge to St. George is, uh, under renovations. Oh, for how long? I hesitate to prognosticate, sir. Dr. Faraday's the only one who knows how to fix the uh, ridiculous contraptions on them bridges. Word has been sent, but we've not had the courtesy of a reply. Why don't you, uh, I don't know, uh, go to Dr. Faraday's house? Because Dr. F has removed to a secret location, the, uh, location which headquarters keeps, uh, uh secret. Uh, what? I'll ask your headquarters then. You some kind of troublemaker. Stay out of city business. I suppose if I want to go and make up with Sally, I need to get Dr. Faraday to come fix his bridge. So I need to visit police headquarters. Hey, we got three skill points. I'll take it. And I want this. Oh, it's eight. God Don't damn it. We... Uh, shocking revelation. Let's see. Okay, that quest is just up here, so we're gonna do that. That is for sure. Uh, how many Jimmy bars? We got 16 Jimmy bars. Uh, Caltrop. The double plus wood. Rolling pin. Rotten apple. Black powder. Rotting meat. Jesus. <coughs> so. He's gone. Let's get rid of these rocks in the next fight. Next fight. It's always a little extra. I really have no idea how long. Maybe that bar, when the bar around the joint meter fills up, then you're, you're, you know. Oh. 
They don't like it when you run. Okay. God damn, you guys. Lovely weather. Don't you just love the smell of mottoline? It's so modern. When going through it, you'll have to have a gas mask equipped. Here. Where's the toxic fog? You're not allowed to run? That's kind of awkward, you guys. Uh, yeah, possibly, uh, Raptor. There's a possibility. Tons of crap in there. Rose of Gilead, I need those. <gasps> Just strolling along, most islands have shopkeepers that sell helpful items. They're marked on your map with an E. go in any of the houses. Such a fucked up society. Look how tall this guard is. Couldn't be better, thanks. Lovely day for it. Hey, what's up, Elena? Thanks for anyone chatting. Where are you looking? <laughs> Hello, Elena. Thanks for tuning into the stream. I hope you're having yourself a great night. Popped Popper. Hold up, let's go over to Popped Popper. What's going on there? The Bobbies won't like it if I get too close to that. Unless I look like a council worker, I suppose. I wouldn't get too close to that. You're liable to get quite a shock. What's gone wrong here, Constable? What's gone wrong, sir? Oh, God. Is a complete lack of preventative maintenance. Council workers don't test the poppers anymore. They don't even see them until something electronic goes tits up. Just lucky one of the lads wasn't in there when it decided to become a spanker. So you're waiting for a council worker? I'm not holding my breath. But I hope one comes soon because I've got places to be. I wonder how I can get a boiler suit. Oh, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, how do I, no, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, oh god, I'm gonna have the whole fucking, is there a way, you guys, this is not good, Well, this sucks. What am I supposed to do? after me. Hey, 
Hey, what's up, Cheese? Thanks for tuning in. Hey, Leah, thanks for tuning in. Holy crap, you guys. Yeah. Trying to find a bush or a bench I can sit at, but every every corner I turn, there's like a thousand people. Just hide. Can they find me here? Oh, I, I don't think they can find me here. Holy shit, we made it, you guys. Don't you see that our world right, has gone mad? Right. We're all in the same let's pretend game. We call a rat a cat. And we pretend our shopkeepers are coming back from holiday. And we don't talk about the most important event in our lives. And that is the gates on the bridges. Do you remember when they went back up? I don't. None of us do. But there haven't always been gates, have there? We took down the German gates at the victory. I know, because I walked from eel pie to apple home then. And weren't my feet sore, eh? Get out of our park. This is no place for free speech. When did we put them back up? I can't remember, but I'll tell you why we did. It's because the rich are robbing us. I'm so us. stressed. Why are you so That's stressed, right. Elena? We're thin. Because the parade is well, Yeah, fat. being an adult Shut up, does you suck. sick down a bastard. Black dog, wet blanket. Yeah, They're it really does. Wait, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope butter. you managed to lose some stress tonight and see. managed to chill out. That's Enjoy yourself on this crazy, planet. crazy game. You're trying to bring us down. <coughs> Rotten downer, wet blanket. Well, it's time to tear down those gates. Tear down these fences. We'll have none of that anarcho-syndicalist trash, thank you. He's actually <laughs> telling me to do Oh no. Oh no, everyone's staring at me. Yeah, yeah, I'm good, I'm good. I'm, I'm gonna go take some joy, I'm gonna take some joy. I'm gonna go get high, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I promise. No, 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 no. no. He literally just got killed. That man just got killed. No, god damn it! They think I'm a downer! I won't let you break me down! No! Give me the joy! You did it! Oh, give me some joy. Bros, that is so dumb, you shouldn't. the hell? Uh, hello. I'm attempting to locate Dr. Faraday. Uh, can you tell me where I can find him? I'm afraid that information is not for public consumption, sir. I'm gonna tell him where to find Bobby Hickenbotham, though. Oh, for heaven's sake. He's not at a reform club again, is he? He was supposed to go to Lud's own. Well, apparently he feels so guilty that Dr. F has been deprived of the liberties, which are the birthright of every English citizen, he's going to get his arse spanked. Constable Bevan, I'm not the public. I'm from the Department of Archives, Printing and Recycling. We're conducting an investigation into Dr. Faraday's handling of municipal records relating to the maintenance of the inter-insular bridges. Two requests have already been sent by Miss Bing to your superior requesting this information. If I have to go back to the parade, Miss Bing's next letter regarding this apparently deliberate festinence will include the name of the last person I talked to. Will that be you, Constable, or the chap who keeps the constabulary's address book? In that case, sir, why don't you take the elevator on up to records? They'll sort you out. Thank you. I shall. What the hell is festinence? They deprived Dr. Faraday of his liberties. But he made all the... Okay. We managed to run into a quest. Talk to Bobby, wear a boiler suit. Ask the duty officer. Bridges. 
Take the elevator up to the records. Boo do do do, I'm not off my joy. Okay, my joy is nowhere near filled, so, like, yeah, being an adult does, does kind of suck at times, making the money to actually make the payments for things and having to deal with everything. Um, hey, what's up, Ninja? Not too much playing this really messed up game. Doing some drugs. You? You listened? You're obviously a man of great wisdom and, and perfect This game capacity. is, it's, it's, it's cool, cool listen, but it's, it's a little bit buggy, it's a little listen, bit weird. I know they'd come around. Would you mind terribly posting a few of these? I'm sort of a bit soggy at the moment. Yeah, we shouldn't be seen together. Come back this evening. I'll give my speech. You make them stay and listen. Together, we can change the world. Part of it anyway. Yeah, I've known a lot of people whose parents, uh, who have helped them out in car payments and everything of the sorts. Um, okay, on top of that, hold on, let's find a boiler suit. Hey, how's it going, see Cedric? You, uh, see you at the pub. Nice to see you, pal. Alright, guys, let's be happy. <laughs> I'm so happy I'm just searching through trash and finding glass bottles and metal bits. I'm I'm enjoying it. Yeah, I know my parents are gonna make me like pay for my own car. There's a lot of things that I ended up having to do on my own. Wait. Am I not on the quest? Yeah, wear a boiler suit. Okay. It's kind of lame that you gotta walk through everywhere, but... <coughs> oh, Jesus. This is the show where we help you expand your nutritional horizons. You know, you can eat a lot more things than you've ever dreamt of. And I'm here to show you what. All right. Where's the boiler suit? That's helpful that this is where... It is, but where's the boiler suit? Oh, this you can hide up here. Uh oh. My joy's running out. Um, 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 um. Listen, lady, get out of the joy machine. Do you seem a bit sick? You won't get away. Dude, that is so dumb. Like, like I understand that you gotta constantly take joy and everything. I don't have time for this nonsense. With well, life for noise, pop a joy. All right, so I'm not doing the boiler suit one. We're gonna go around posting these flyers. You can use it to treat sore muscles, eczema, arthritis, gout, and anemia. Yeah, as you get older, it does a lot of the bills and payments do end up adding up, and finding a job is a pain in the ass, and. When you actually find the job, keeping a job is a pain in the ass. All the houses look so nice.
God damn it, you guys. Is there any way out of here? There's got to be a way out of here. The hell is this spot? It's just some secretive alleyway? Okay. Alright, we're gonna chill on a bench. Just, uh... Watching the day go by. Oh, it's during curfew hours? Okay, so no. what, what am I Just supposed to do? Feet. Guys, I guess we're sneaking around the city. Who I'm talking to? I'm kind of talking to you guys. It's like giant eyeball robots that float around. Come on, what the hell kind of... I don't think he's terribly popular. I better be discreet about posting these. Message for Foggy Jack. What's going on? Don't make me come find you. What the hell? Can't we just agree to disagree? Ow. <laughs> It's not safe to wait anywhere. Oh, that was painful. Are we looking at food and water? We're looking at, we, we need some water. It's all food, 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 drink. Mm -hmm. 
Holy crap. Alright you guys, this this place is not safe. I this this place freaks me out. Constable's key card. All right, there we go. Yeah, I noticed that, Ender. I was sitting there like, what the fucking shit? Like, <laughs> that, that's kind of... Where's the hatch on Maiden Home? Okay, so that's... Oh, now I could keep them pacified when he gives his speech. Oh, we found some... I days and I wouldn't be a downer anymore. I'm not one of these could just take my joy and have done. Oh, we're breaking. We're doing a B and E. We're doing a B and E. Let's loot it all. We're overburdened. All right, drop, 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 drop. Crafting components. Oops. Oops. Holy shit! I was gonna say. We can drop some of these Jimmy bars, let's be real. Healing bomb, create that. How much weight are we at? 102? What the hell's weighing us, weighing us down so much? Oh, it's just the crafting component. Flower bag? Hell yeah. Okay, there's so, so it said there were traps in here, you guys. Um, so, skull killer. How's it going? Devil, I'm doing a B and E, bro. We're doing a B and E at night. Oh, come on, you pack rat. You can't take all this with you. What should we do? Alright, alright. Drop the shovel, that's seven. Ah, uh, drop the one Jimmy bar. Red who said. The next day at dawn, Woodcutter and his wife met his parents. D. 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 What? The wife made a fire for them and said, Yes, by the fire. There'll be chop. Oh, he's in the other room. Soon enough, we heard the sound of chopping. And the bread of God. Just having a bit of a sit down. I am concealed. They won't see me. Oh, you fool. Idiot. Said the woodcutter's wife. Do we have more bread for the ovens that we did yesterday? And the woodcutter had already agreed once to abandon his parents. I'm done, you guys. If you kill people, uh, if you kill people in their house, the cops will just come in, check them out, and then. That night. 
See, we're gonna throw this guy in, in, on this couch. In the morning, That's how people sit on couches. All right, so we got this guy rolling. Let's throw him down. There are, the, we're gonna throw the whole family in here, man. Here, no, actually, you know what? We'll throw them in different spots. You, you can chill out there. Smoking a pipe, doing it classy, bro. Classy, that's how I sit, too. All right, where's the third guy, too? And you, you're, you're gonna be taking a shower. Yeah. That guy's taking a shower. Requires electro lock shocker, really? I don't have that. It's painful. I have the other thing. Oh, itchy, 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 itchy. Alright, let's sleep for eight hours. <sighs> well, you made your bed, Arthur. Damn you? right, we made our bed. We killed the family and then just slept. Fell asleep in their house. This is how our true serial killer does it, you guys. As I say, I'm pretty sure I'm off my joy. Let's check. Couldn't be better, thanks. Did you hear about How am I not off my joy? The whole world looks terrible. The fuck? Okay, let's take some time. Overtime joy well, abuse. That feels entirely too good. Oh, okay. So that joy around the bar is memory loss. That's what it is. Done. What happened to him? Well, I'm not quite sure. He's been a solid citizen long as I've been on this beat. Then today he's gone on about leaving Hamlin, waving around a suitcase like a rotten downer. Well, we can't have that. Don't know where he thought he was going. Nobody goes to the Garden District, don't have to. Maybe you okay, have relatives Gage, across the problem, bridge. Dude. Thanks for tuning uh -huh. in. That's right. There's been an outbreak of relatives across the bridge. Has there been an outbreak of downers? Um, no. Of course not. There's nothing to worry about. Well, that's a relief. I'm sure the joy is just as good as it's ever been. Each batch just gets better and better. <laughs> you keep taking it. We'll take care of you. I hope you like this sort of thing. All right, buddy. That's well, that sounds fun. Would you like this? We are not accustomed to such gender. This is for you. See how many that he can drink. I just want you to know that One I touch. appreciate what you True. do. Here. Well, I want you well, to have well. this. That's right, kind of you. Well, that's straight or decent of you. How far is that? Okay, I 
want to go talk to that guy. Oh, at 10.30. Or wait. Okay, wait. Wow, you can wait three hours and it's still... Holy crap, the waiting game is real! We're almost there! We're almost done it! Why <laughs> <laughs> she's like about to get me and then I was just like nah let's just do some drugs. Wow, and they do not last long. At all. Return to the park tomorrow. Speaker's corner, talk to William. This game is fucked up. I hate how you cannot run through the cities. Can you sprint up here? Oh yeah, the children get taken off, uh, Ender. They get taken off by the Germans. He's gonna get himself hurt. Thank you. Thank you. I think they listened. I think they got it. I'm sure they're going to go home and think it over. This is the start of something wonderful. Here, this may come in handy. I don't dare tell people to stop taking their joy. But this will take away the effects of the joy all at once. So you can make them see. Go, go. Spread the word. Make them see. Wrong with all this stuff. You better throw something away before something starts chasing you. Okay, food and drinks. Food, food, grapefruit juice. Sure. Okay, Thursday. Cool. We can level that up. Finally, we can carry more weight. Holy shit. And then. We, we're good on food. So he gave me a crash syringe, which is... Well, when you crash. Right there. Flushes joy instantly in the target. Why would you do that, though? Drug only works on others. Oh. That's cool. 
Take the elevator up to the records. Oh god, I'm almost out of joy. See if we can get a joy machine. Uh, the only problem here is that I don't want to take too much joy and then lose my memory, but... So dumb, I don't want strawberry, I want vanilla. We're life for noise. Pop a joy. Tits up downer. Or boiler shoot find the hell. Hello, Savage! Savage, we're probably going to call it on this stream very shortly. I'm just getting a few side quests done here. Checking out the world of Wellington Wells, seeing the difference between this and everything else in life. Because we've been to the downer parts where it's all decrepit and horrible. Now we're in the rich parts. Richer parts. And we've been doing lots of drugs, Savage. Lots of drugs. Our character is high as hell. Percival Hastings, is it not? N no. It's Arthur. Percival went away. Odd. There are some things you think you will never forget. But then, I suppose you do. I'm Arthur. Arthur Hastings. Memories play tricks on you, do they not? You must get back on board! How old are you, Mr. Hastings? Oh, I'm 30. They typed my birthday wrong on the card. So, why are you here? quick because my joy level is low. No, I don't wanna. We're low on drugs and the problem is is I don't wanna take any more wall. Hello? Constable Bevan said you're the chap who has Dr. Faraday's current address. Because then we're going to uh, suffer from right. memory loss. I've and got I records want. of everyone's address back there. All alphabetical. I'm quite proud of it. So, where is Dr. Faraday relocated to? Oh, I can't tell you that. You're not a constable. <laughs> I guess it would take two of you to make one constable if you had platform shoes. <laughs> Right. Anyone you else dick. you'd like me Call to me not tell you the address on? You're very helpful. That's what everyone says. You know, I used to patrol the street. It was lovely. Shopkeepers give you sandwiches, ladies flirt, the warm sun on your coat. One misstep, and they put you in the records room. It's hardly fair. He was breathing when I left him. Uh, Alright guys, we're, we're gonna quickly hide. Don't mind me. Just having a bit of a sit down. Just, uh, watching the day go by. Ah. Uh. See, I don't know how to prevent memory loss right now because, like, it, it's not gonna. I can't take any more joy without the memory loss meter going up. And it's almost like I, I kind of wonder. I 
I kind of wonder if we're able to kill these guys, but I highly, highly doubt you it. You might want to see a doctor, sir. <gasps> That is painful. Lol, he's just running back and forth. Longest fucking withdrawal I've ever seen, man. Oh, you have to be. Where do you think you're going then? I'm so confused. I thought you had to be on Joy. Oh, Electro Safe Shocker. We needed one of those for back at the house. Oh, memory. But why do the Germans want children? I don't know. Where are they taking them? I don't know. They won't say. Why are they coming back? No one knows. They won't say. Why won't they say? Well, just shut it, Percy. Just shut it. Oh, sorry. Till the war's over, I guess. They're losing, I think. But the radio... But the radio keeps talking about victories. Yes, but the victories keep getting closer to Berlin. I can't hear you. They keep winning, but they're then going backwards. That doesn't make any sense. It does if they're lying. Oh, people shouldn't lie. It confuses everything. Yes, yes, it really does. Yeah, I think it has to do with the Holocaust and whatnot. What's over here? Okay, we'll we'll go this way after. have this place organized. Dr. Faraday's in Lud's home. That's crazy. Why? And how do I get to Lud's home? Are they renovating it? Metal Gear Happy oh, Edition. Lovely. I'm famous. Metal Gear Happy Edition. I'm done. <laughs> Parallel. If they're alphabetical, maybe I can find Dr. F's address myself. Oi. F for Faraday. Yeah. That's the there he is! Get him, lad! Well, get on, get on. Don't you even think 
Visit Dr. Faraday. Five, three. All right, let's save up the points. Dr. Faraday is far as shit. Um, wear a boiler suit. Alright, um, I'm gonna save the game here. Um, just because there's ton, there's tons of little things we can do. Um, <clears throat> I just, uh, it's gonna take some time, obviously, like, going through this entire section of the game, and then we still got tons left to do, right? So, it's, uh, okay, this game is definitely fucked up, I will give it that. It is kind of hard to manage your food and water and sleep intake on the, also on the note of, that was really weird, I wasn't even moving my joystick, on the note of, like, trying to fight everyone. The AI survival, just the whole gameplay aspect, it's a little bit clunky. Uh, to say the least, because there's so many AIs, and they all can be mad at you, and then it kind of is a bit confusing between <clears throat> taking uh, how much joy you have to take and, like, when people are going to be mad at you, but it, it, it does a good job solidly. Like, it's got a solid foundation. I feel like there's a lot of things that need to be uh, tuned tuned up, but it's a great game, and I'm definitely... It's going to keep me compelled and finish till the end, so... We'll, we'll get back into this another time. I just, uh, I think I'm getting a little bit worn out from We Happy Few. I'm not going to lie. Um, so, like, yeah, it, it is a good game. We There is a lot to it, and I really enjoy it. Um, but some of these things I wish, like, wear a boiler suit, for example. And you'll go down to wear a boiler suit, right? And it shows the quest line there. Oh, piss off. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. It shows the quest right there, right? And it tells you to go over there. But when you go over there, it, it doesn't tell you where the boiler suit is. And same with tits up downer, okay? Like, you had to get the suitcase. So I bribed the three guards with scotch. And I picked up the suitcase. And now it says that the quest is there. But the quest is obviously not in my thing here so right here it says it's completed what's in his suitcase right so it's like maybe the reward was his suitcase i don't know but it wouldn't explain why the tits up downer quest is still here um yeah and so there's just a lot to this game that like breaking into houses there's only certain houses that you can break well, into it's not Farrow like i can just walk in club into instead. one of these it houses then there's another thing mm -hmm. i don't i'm not some sort of id that lets him cross to lunch home I'm not on my joy right now, right? Like, my joy meter, if you look up to visit the reform club at the nightclub. Visit Dr. Faraday's prison. Oh, okay. At night. Reform club at night. Oh, okay. So, visit Dr. Faraday, that's far. Anyway, so... And then it does get kind of confusing how you have three story quests. That doesn't really make sense. They're parallel. But, um... It is what it is, I guess. And so, yeah, this just throws me off massively, though. I, I'm not on joy right now, right? And these people are not getting mad at me. But if I take any more joy, then I'm going to have be withdrawled, you know? And, and it's like, I, okay, you know what? Okay, I'm confused. I'm just as confused as anyone else. So we're going to save the game there. I'm going to use the washer. And, uh... Hey, thank you so much, Ender, for tuning into the stream, dude. I really appreciate it. And uh, the the company was much, much appreciated. So we'll pl probably play some Fortnite there, try and get some solo dubs. Um, 
And, uh, yeah, I'll see you in that stream if you're interested in tuning in. Thanks for all the support, you guys, and everyone out who is in here. You're all the best. See you soon.